All right, I've got my monsters picked out. Got the battlefield ready to go. I know what I'm doing. Oh shoot, these boss monsters have uh, some pretty complicated stat blocks, but um, I'll be okay. I can figure it out, right? Yeah, right? All right, combat time. And I am two thirds of the way through combat and I have forgotten to use this ability that's supposed to happen every round. I am a terrible DM. Man, there's so many things, so many abilities and lair actions and legendary actions and how am I supposed to remember all of this? Sure would be a lot easier if, I don't know, I had some kind of help. Hey everybody, it's Nick. Does that sound at all like a familiar situation? I know for me, running boss battles and big complicated high level boss monsters can be really intimidating and honestly kind of confusing. I just finished a campaign that ran all the way to 20th level and some of the monsters being used at the end were really complicated and there's so many different abilities and bonus actions and villain actions if you're using those and legendary actions, all kinds of crazy stuff. It's just really tough to try to figure out how do you keep up with all these different abilities, learn a bunch of new character abilities every single week to use against your players and try to challenge them in interesting ways. It's really hard. And when we were coming up to our final boss battle, I was planning it and I was like, man, I want there to be a bunch of these big, powerful uh, captains in this battle, but I worry that I'm going to forget them. I forget how to use their abilities, these things that trigger every round or all these different reactions that they might have. And I'm just not a smart enough person to run all these different complicated monsters and remember all of their abilities. So I was sort of in a jam. And a lot of times my solution for this is just, you know, don't. Don't have all those big complicated monsters have one big boss and like small simple monsters but I didn't want that to be the case for this big battle. I have this climactic finale to the end of the campaign. I wanted it to be something big and epic and I had an idea. Since we've been running on Roll20 and playing on Discord, I'm not really limited by the physical space and the people around me to who I have to play with and so I said hey. I know some DMs who aren't here in this game, some friends of mine. What if I pulled them in to be co-DMs with me for one session? So basically what I did is I reached out to two friends who I thought would uh, get in the spirit of things and play along and enjoy playing these boss monsters. And I said, hey, do you want to be sort of uh, co-DMs for this one session and help me run some monsters? If you would like to, you can design a monster with my help or I can just design it and give it to you. But I need some help running combat and you are a smart, tactical, experienced person that I know and you can help me out running these monsters in combat. They were both great sports and helped me out and um, you know one of them wanted to design their own monster, one of them wanted me to just design one for them so that was cool. Um, we got to bounce lots of ideas off of each other, we got to sit down and have a conversation. I told them what my expectations were for the fight, I told them how I was planning on it going, the things that were off limits, the things that I wanted to sort of go for, the feel, the flavor, the tone, you know who the players were and what they were about, who these bad guys were and what they were about so that it wasn't them DMing, it was very much me being the DM and them doing it in my style, but helping me out. It also created this really, really cool moment where at the very beginning of the session, I got to sort of say, man, it's so tough sometimes. You know, there's like five of you players, there's only one of me. It'd be really nice, especially for some of these big complicated battles, if I had like three of me or something. And I don't, but I have the next best thing. And then my two friends hopped on in Discord at the exact same time, and it was really well coordinated. All the players sort of lost their minds. It was a really cool, you know, in-person kind of reveal. Uh, but also, it genuinely helped me out a lot to have somebody there just remembering all these abilities. And I could just adjudicate the rules and run one bad guy. And then the two sort of lieutenants were run by my friends. And I didn't have to remember how their abilities worked. I didn't have to remember what their spell save DC was. I didn't have to remember their passive abilities that trigger at the start of every player's turn. I didn't have to remember all that. I just let them have those characters and run with it. Then we also sort of had our own little Facebook chat to so, for me to sort of say, okay, you can you know, ease up a little bit. Maybe don't kill that person or no, 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 go all the way. Absolutely. Uh, keep using these abilities. Um, maybe add a few more hit points because I had balanced it a little bit wrong. So maybe it should be a little bit more, a little bit less. And so we're able to sort of have like a that live internal monologue that you're doing every time you run combat. We got to do that out loud in our own little uh, group chat with just the three of us, me and my co-conspirators. 
So this is just a short little video that I wanted to share with you guys, a thing that just happened in my big climactic boss battle that maybe is an interesting idea for you to use. I like doing things like that in boss battles where you change the rules completely, where something different happens, breaking the rules of the game they have grown to know and be accustomed to, and adding in two more DMs certainly did that for my players. So while I don't know that I recommend doing this all the time, it could be an interesting idea to maybe uh, change up your game a little bit, add in something cool. Just a thought I wanted to share with all of you folks. Let me know what you think. Have you ever done anything like that? Have you ever had any experience co-DMing, even for just like one session or even for a whole campaign? Uh, let me know if there's anything that you have experience with in that regard that maybe I could learn from for my next campaign. Speaking of which, no spoilers, the next video we're going to get is about how do you start planning and preparing and bringing together a homebrew campaign. So uh, make sure you do all the things, uh, I hate the call to action here at the end, but subscribe and click the bell and do all the things if you would like to see that video when it comes out in a week. But until then, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.